haunting western tune for Father, did you hear that shot? Yeah. Sounded like it came from the direction of the bunkhouse. Ben? Who did it? I don't know. They got him like they did Curly. This ranch is bad luck. I'm quitting right now. No. No, don't. Don't you can't do this. No. Please. No. No. Oh, you must do this. You can't. Think. And I, I heard a shot. The phantom Uncle Rolf, he's been here again. This time it's Dad. I can't stand it. I can't stand oh, it anymore. There, 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 now, Carol. Now, there, that's all right. Carol, this ranch is cursed. Why, even the law hasn't been of any help. Your dad was going to send for somebody that might help us, but it's too late now, no matter who it might be. Hiya, Dusty. I'm sure glad to see you. I got your message. And I'm plum glad to see you, too. It looks like the range busters are going to... That is, the valley bus here. Well, what's all the trouble? Well, a friend of mine, Homer Thorpe, from the Circle Teams near Paso Lobo, has got himself a peck of trouble with a ghost. A ghost breaking, eh? Well, sounds like fun. <laughs> well, if it ain't a mirage, it's alibi. Hi, Craig. Hi, uh, Alibi. Hi, Dusty. Hello there, Alibi. I'd have been here sooner, but you see I'm riding tandem. Elmer's been dragging his feet. <laughs> I didn't have time to pack him. Talks like I was an extra oh, while we call him Alibi. Well, why did you change your handle from Lullaby to Alibi? Oh, preparedness, Dusty. You see, Elmer here gets me in so many stampedes. <laughs> I'd have to have something to fall back on, so I use Alibi. Don't you believe him. His head's full of something drinking wood alcohol. <laughs> Well, let's get going. Well, say, have I got time to wrap Elmer and put him in the... Right now, wait till we get to Paso Lobo. Hello, Carol. I've missed you the past week. I've been out trying to trail the Phantom ever since Dad was killed. You child. Come inside and tell me all about it. Go in. She's at Doc Stengel's place. Oh, maybe she'd be ready now to talk business. You know those three hombres? See that they don't hang up their hats in this town. We can't afford to have strangers nosing around. Hey, what's the idea? Three men to water a trio of critters. I gotta get a drink, too. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, now, listen, Chris. My throat's dry inside of a sand pit. Let me cut the dust so I can breathe. All right, go on and start breathing. <laughs> so I haven't found a single clue. Then someone shot at three hours ago. And you didn't see who did it? Well, there wasn't anyone to see. Only a shot. I don't know what to advise you, Carol, honey. I wish I could ride with you and run down this phantom. I'm going over to the sheriff's office again and insist I'll do something. Well, maybe I'd better walk over with you. Sorry to hear about your trouble, Carol. That offer for the Circle T still holds. It's not for sale. And you can't run it without rash hands, with nothing but a blind old man. 
I'll manage. Why don't you stop pestering the girl, Torrance? Doc, it'll be safer if you stick to your pills. You better take the money for your place while you can. I figured you'd start to threaten. Personally, I think you know plenty about all these killings. Now look, I've tried to be fair with you. I'll forget to be if you start any accusations. For... Let go of my arm. You've got no right to be interfering with her. You keep your mouth shut, Doc. What's the trouble? Seems like the lake. Yeah. Lost the tangle up with them strangers. Thanks for the help, Grace. Oh, don't mention it. Just try to draw. I'll beat it. No. All right. Well, I reckon I handled that. You sure did. Nice going, Alibi. It certainly is good to see some fighting men around here. And what do you think we're fighting men? The way you handle Tarn could use all three of you. Or anything like that, have you? I I don't know. You don't know? When did that bullet hole? Today. Well, it looks like you do need somebody. How about taking those jobs? Well, I don't know. I'd have to talk that with my pals. Thank you. Doc Stengel, the chemist, will tell you how to get to the ranch, in case you decide to come. Thank you, miss. Much obliged. The Circle T's where we're heading, ain't it? Why didn't you tell the girl? Well, I think we'd be able to work much better if nobody knew we were around. Gee, I didn't know we were going to be working for any women. Women? Well, what are we waiting for? Her ranch is a camping ground for that so-called phantom. Phantom? Yeah, phantom, and not to mention a pretty... You keep your mind on the phantom, Dusty. And you'll look after the young lady? Gee, I kind of got a hankering for feminine companionship myself. But don't mix it up with business. Say, is this a private fight? I've been bachelor long enough myself. Okay, Crash, you're the ladies' man. Ah, that's better. Unless I happen to beat your time. Well, kidding on the square, Dusty. This girl's in a tough spot and she needs her. Well, this old chemist here seems to know quite a lot about Miss Thorpe. Let's ease over and ask some questions. A man must be pretty low to take a pot shot at a girl. Unless it was really a ghost. Oh, who ever heard of a ghost carrying a gun? Tell us more about this phantom business, Doc. Well, there isn't much to tell, boys. Except there's an old legend about the original owner putting a curse on the old Circle T mine but haunt the property he had to abandon. Part of them, three ranch hands were killed. And after that, none of the boys around here would work at the Circle T. Has anyone got a grudge against the Circle T? Not that I know of. And after that, it was her father, right in the living room to track rustlers. Say, Doc, uh, what does this ghost look like? Oh, there ain't any ghost. Come on, let's go. It'll soon be dark. Pitch dark. Yeah. Thanks for the information, Doc. Come, boys. Goodbye. Hold on, Craig. Don't go just yet. Say, what's the matter? You're not afraid of that phantom, are you? Afraid? Who, me? No, but I got some things to do here in town first. Should we help him? I think we should. One. One. Two. two. Up, sweet Daisy. That's the place. Look, oh, what's that? Did you see it? Shut up. It's disappeared. Now I know it's a ghost. No, it didn't disappear. He went into the house. Maybe he lives there. Not that thing. Stay here. I'm going to investigate.
I hardly expected you this late. Well, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I do something very strange. Strange? What? Well, it's probably nothing to... But somebody just came across the yard and went into the house. In here? Yes. Well, I don't see how. This door was locked. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Well, come in. Thank you. I'd better not see that thing again. Because if he's dead, he can't walk. And if he ain't dead, I'll... Now, put your gun away. Besides, if it was a spook, you couldn't kill it anyway. Well, I guess there must have been... He never lets anyone in there except the housekeeper when she comes to clean him. Well, think we'd better take a peek away? Well, all right, but let's not awaken him. Sure he has. You see, Uncle Rolf is blind. Well, can he get around at all? Oh, yes, with a cane. Well, I must have been imagining things. Guess I need glasses. I'll be going to the bunkhouse. Well, not that I know of. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason at all. Just on my mind. See you in the morning, and be sure you lock the door. Good night. From that ridge. We can pick up the trail from there. Alibi, get the horses. I'll go with Crash, and I guess you better stay here and look after Miss Thorpe. You bet you. It was a shot I heard. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Don't try to fool me. The phantom shot at you. I know it. <laughs> it didn't mean a thing. Nobody was hit. Frightened. I didn't have a wink last night. I shouldn't have asked you to come here. And I want to tell you now that, that I don't hold you to your bargain and be killed. Because sometimes a man meets people he likes. It does. Especially to be done. Here, your horses. No, that boat must have took away my appetite. But uh, maybe I could eat a little something. Well, breakfast will be ready soon. I'll call you. Ouch! What are you trying to do, brand me? No, I ain't. Who's that? Who are you? Well, it ain't no cow, mister. Can't you see? No, I can't see, confounded. Who are you? Why, Uncle Rolf, what are you doing up so early? Oh, shucks, I just went out for a walk, that's all. Who is this? Now, don't get so excited. That's one of our new ranch hands. Alibi, this is Uncle Rolf. Pleased to meet you. Oh, ranch hand, eh? Morning. Uh, say, didn't I hear a shot? Yeah, but I ain't dead yet. Oh, well, don't brag. Don't brag. You will be pretty soon. The Phantom always does what is least expected. Uncle Rolf, don't talk like oh, that. Oh, well, I'm just warning you all. <laughs> So you set yourself up to be a spook catcher, do you? I, I don't believe in spooks. Oh, don't, huh? Well, you will if you stick around this ranch for very long. But I don't think you'll stay. Oh, 
Often it leads over spectacular chasms and deep canyons where the sunlight... Hombre's riding out this far. Whoever it is, we don't want to be seen. I can hardly see the ranch from here. Well, anyway, that's where they came from. Well, let's find out. And in Circle T mine the doc was telling us about. Yeah. Hey. I'm not so sure this is an abandoned mine. are snooping around outside. They won't come in here. Wait a minute. You want them to hear us? I could have sworn I heard something. I think they've gone. Let's go see. Now take it slow. Who's there? We've got to lead him a chance to get him away from the mine. They go on the other end. You know, I'm pretty sure one of them's that fellow Torrance we had a run in with yesterday. I'll find out. It's too late to catch him now. You trail them and find out who they are. I'll head back to the ranch. What's the matter, Alibi? Oh, Elmer, I'm worried. I can't make heads or tails of this setup. You wouldn't know one end from the other anyhow. Now, oh, listen, you oughtn't to talk like that. Haven't you any respect for age? Only when it comes in bottles. Oh, shut up. I want to thank. Okay, Daddy. I'm not your daddy. Don't tell me your mother. It was a maple tree. Well, if I did come out of the tree, I'm no sap like you. Well, I'll tell you, Elmer, I don't like this business. I heard in a ghost. What, ghost? Let me out of here. You're a lot of help. I wish I knew who this ghost is. Maybe it's one of them hombres in town, and maybe this blind king told her. Ain't as blind as he acts. Oh, a faker, huh? There's two things I don't like, and both of them are fakers. Who's talking about me? Who is it? It's me, Uncle Ralph, here all by myself. I ain't been saying nothing. Yeah. Well, my eyes may be gone, but my hearing is still pretty sharp. Uh, have one yet? No, we're, we're staying. The jobs are mighty scarce. Yes, yeah. well, what good is a job that may lead to a passport to eternity? 
I, I don't know. Uh, I warned you to stay away from this place and to be on your guard. Death is stalking you in this cursed place. Hey, listen. Carol's father, my brother, was killed only last month. Uh, he was standing right over there. And then before him, there was a ranch hand. He was sitting just about, yes, right where you are now. Huh. He had a nice round face like you got, too. Then before him, there was others. But we won't talk about them now. They died too horrible. Died in their sleep. Yeah, over at the bunkhouse. Uh, that's, that's where you sleep. I think I've heard enough. Oh, uh, well, you haven't heard the worst yet. Now, there was Carol's brother, my nephew. He was shot through the head. He was standing right over there. Yeah, poor boy. He, he was to inherit the place. Yes, but now, now Carol, she'll have to face it. Uh, you see, the place belongs to her. Yeah, he was standing just about right. No, yeah, but just a little bit. A little more. That's it. Yes, that's, that's about where he was standing. Carol, she uh, was sitting over there with the table with the lamp reading. The door opened suddenly before the shot was fired. Well, howdy, folks. What are you doing? Playing games? Yeah, bingo. <laughs> Guess that's one of them. What do we do with him? Take him alive so we can find out what those three are really up to. Yes, you. How come? Well, I just wanted to make sure you came out of that old mine. Oh, that's too bad. You should never have done that. Well, I, I hate to disagree with you. All right, boys, take him. Drop that gun. What happened at the mine? It sounds what I got the tent crash. Something happened at the ranch? It's that old scarecrow at the house. He's a faker. Well, you mean Uncle Rolf. Yeah. Says he's blind. I'm sure he ain't. If he was, he couldn't have showed me where to stand. If that's true, Alibi. But I know he didn't fire that shot at us this morning. Well, don't be too sure. He come walking in from the hills right after you left. I'm still sure it's those tough hombres that entertained you in town. We'll know as soon as Dusty gets here. That must be Dusty now. It's only that doctor friend of Carol's. Hi. 
Howdy, Carol. I'm glad to see you, Doc. Won't you come in? Oh, why, certainly. I dropped by because I had a letter from Tex Morley. Guess you remember him, an old friend of your dad's. Tex heard about what happened and wrote me to say if you were selling, he'd be interested. Says here he'd be willing to pay 15000 in cash. Oh, well, that's quite a sum of money. Why, Uncle Roth, the ranch is worth five times that oh, much. Well, I know, Carol, dear, but after all that's been going on Just here, the I... same, I wouldn't even consider such an offer. Yeah. Uh, do you think maybe that he'd raise the ante? Tex knows what the place is worth. Well, Carol might write him herself. I wouldn't sell if he doubled the price. Oh, well, what's the good of money once you're dead? This is my ranch. Dad left it to me, and I intend to keep it. That's the spunk, Carol. And I've got a hunch that you're going to get to the bottom of all this trouble you've had very soon. I sort of like you for that hunch, Doc. Well, hello there, boys. Glad to see you on the job. Part of my hunch was based on you three being here. Your friend. Oh, he's out riding the range. I will forget Morley. I kind of thought you would. I'm out of you, Carol. Well, I think she ought to accept the offer and get shut of the place. We ain't heard the last of it yet. I don't blame poor Uncle Rolf. After all, he's been through. I have a feeling that the ranch won't be bothered with the Phantom much longer. And I have the same feeling. Well, goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Doctor. I'll see you to your horse, Doc. Come along. Doc, tell me what you know about this phantom business. Well, they're nothing but suspicions. Torrance and that crowd of his from town might have use for a ranch like this. But why? He's not a cattleman. No, but he has other business that he can use a ranch like Circle T. Well, tell me what you know about him. Nothing for sure. But vague rumor has him running things across the border. Guns and whatnot. Nobody can prove it, I guess. And he might have use for that abandoned mine. It'd be worth checking. I can't figure Torrance using this phantom business. He wouldn't go in for that sort of hocus pocus. <laughs> well, hardly. From what I know of him, he hasn't that much imagination, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this Rolf is quite a man. It's hard to believe he can't see. But there isn't any doubt about it, I guess. Say, how did it happen? An explosion in the old mine when they were still working it about 20 years ago. Well, I guess there's no doubt about it then. His brother and I used to try to make him see a specialist. Might bring his sight back. But he wouldn't go. He wouldn't go see a specialist? Well, people are funny when they're afflicted like Rolf is. Well, so long, Crash. And I'll help you anytime I can. So long, Doc. So Rolf won't go to see an eye specialist, huh? Maybe that'll loosen up your tongue. Tie up his legs. He'll talk later. I got this to say. You better finish what you're trying to do before my pals come in here and blast you off the landscape. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're sort of expecting him. Well, we won't have to worry about him. Are you sure all the orders have been carried out? Yep. We drove this cowpuncher's horse in and planted the trail so a tenderfoot could follow it. Good. I'm going to town now to arrange for the trucks. We'll be able to move the cases out of the mine tonight. Ah, I see you got Sam up there for a lookout. That's a good idea. When his two pals show up, you know what to do. There'll be no slip. I'll check with Joe at the pass. Dusty's horse. Something's gone wrong. This horse is taking a fall. Well, something's happened to Dusty. Well, what are we waiting for? It's 
Dusty's. He's sure enough in trouble. They found the hat, Joe. I think they'll follow the trail we set up for them. We'll get onto the gulch. fishy about all these clues. First we find his hat, and then we find his neckerchief. Dusty must have done it himself. No, he don't usually go around daytime shedding his clothes. Figured that away, he'll probably find his pants over the next hill. Somebody's holding Dusty. When they lay out all these clues for us to find, I like to stop and think. No doubt they've taken him up that gulch probably waiting for us up on that hill. You ease up ahead just like nothing's happened, and I'll circle around from behind. Take him anyway. I ain't seen your pal. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll make him talk, Chris. No. No. Not that Indian haircut. What do you think? I'll I think this is the place. Peaceful, don't it? Yeah.
next time, I wish you'd let me know when you don't need me. Howdy, Uncle Ralph. It's you, huh? Yeah. How do, Miss Carol? Hello, Alibi. Where are the boys? I'd like to talk to them later. Oh, they'll be along pronto. Nice evening, Uncle Ralph. Is it? Well, uh, I reckon it is. Uh, there's nothing nice about this. Oh. Huh? We left them at the shack. Piled up like bundles of straw. Torrance has probably let his gang loose by now. Well, why didn't you bring him into the lockup? We talked about that, Sheriff, but we didn't have any serious charge to file against him. I'm sure Torrance is using the mine for something. After what's happened, they'll be clearing it out tonight. All you and your men will have to do is be waiting for them at the rear mine entrance. Well, all my deputies are standing by. And you'll wait here at the ranch, huh? That's right. All right, so long, boys. So long, Sheriff. So long, Sheriff. Still think the Phantom will be prowling tonight? With things happening as I know they will, he's bound to. I bet you know all about mining, Uncle Ralph. Uh, my, oh, yes, yes, I know all about mining. It's too bad you can't see. You might do a little prospecting around here. Yeah. Yes, it is, ain't it? Say, what are you doing? What kind of a trick are you up to? Ouch. Hurry, she'll be waiting. I just want to be there last, that's all. When you're alone with her, you're still last. That's what you think. Hey. Good evening, Carol. Hi, Carol. Sit down, boys. I want to talk to you. Thank you. Well, have you made up your minds to tell me where you were all afternoon? As your employer, I have certain rights. Well, there for a minute, I forgot you were our employer. Well, we were, uh... Oh, yeah, checking on some water holes to the north. And, uh, and then we checked on some water holes in the south field. Yes, and what else? Well, uh, uh, well, then we checked on some fences. That's right, that's right, and then we checked on some more fences. Mm -hmm. Yes, go on, what next? Uh, Aren't there some, some more fences? fences? <laughs> I've been thinking, Carol, about all your troubles. Does your Uncle Rolf have any interest in the Circle T? No, I'm the sole owner of the ranch. How about the mine up on the hill? Has it got any value? No, none at all. It was abandoned even before we came here. Dad put in some new timbers, and he and Uncle Rolf tried to work it, but there was nothing there. After Uncle's accident, Dad gave it up altogether. For you boys. Where'd Uncle Rolf go high? I guess he's sleepy. He went to bed.
That was grand. I knew that phantom would prowl tonight. You and Dusty go get him. I'll see if Rolf's in bed. Of course he is. Then there's no harm in looking. Are you accusing no, I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to see. Well, everything's all set. Trucks are waiting at the rear entrance to be loaded. What was that shot? Ah, no, don't worry about it. I've got things to do at the house. Will we wait for you? I'll be back before the cases are all loaded. But he couldn't be gone. But he is gone. I don't suppose anything. I don't know anything. All I know is I'm going to search this place right now. And you wait in the living room until I get back. You see it? Sure, I saw it. some explaining. Come on, Torrance, I'm listening. What's your game? I just use the old mine for a hideaway, that's all. My boys have rounded up your men, but you haven't told me everything. I've told you everything. I don't know a thing about those killings. Oh, yes, you do. All I wanted to do was get the mine away from the girl before somebody else got it. Someone else? What do you mean? I don't know, I tell you. I don't what know. What do you mean? Well, somebody was putting the pressure on me. They knew about my gun running. Well, who was it? Who I don't tell you. It's...
same one. We found out it wasn't Rolf. He was bound and gagged in the mine tunnel. Alibi's bringing him up. Tell us what happened, Uncle Rolf. Well, I was going to bed. I heard something like a door opening. And then something hit me, and I don't remember anything more until you found me at the mine. The doc was using the secret mine shaft to get into the house to do his killings. And if it hadn't been for that blind fool, I'd have finished my work tonight. I'd have had the mine. Well, Doc Stengel, what are you doing here? Believe it or not, this is your phantom. The doc, huh? Well, I thought you'd like to know that we rounded up the whole thing. They were running guns from the old mine, but Torrance didn't show. Might have been better if he had. He's in there. Yeah, I know. Come on, Doc. <clears throat> Wonder what's delaying Dusty. If we're right, we ought to get ready. Maybe he ain't riding with us. Got to do something about that. Well, I guess we know the whole truth now, Carol. Doc Stengel found a rich vein in the mine, but he knew that Torrance was using the mine too. So he set out to see that Torrance was caught, figuring that would clear him of all the previous killings. Still, I'm sorry for poor old Doc to bring so much tragedy on others as well as on himself, just to become a little richer. I'll never be able to thank you and your friends, Dusty. You don't have to, Carol. Don't you think we got a hankering for the Circle T Ranch too? I've been hoping you'd stay on and help me run the ranch. We sure will, and what's more... Dusty just got word Ted Grimm some trouble down to Norway. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Didn't say, but it's mighty serious. Dusty, we got to be riding to help Ted. But we'll be back, Carol. stopping for if Ted's in trouble. Well, I'll tell you, Dusty, it's like this. Talk fast, Alibi. Hey, what is this? Say, how'd Ted get word to you? Well, if they won't tell you I will, Dusty, they never heard from Ted. Stool pigeon. It's like this, Dusty. We didn't want to see the range busters split wide open right after they got together. And over a woman, too. <laughs> Gee, I hated to leave that girl. She might have been the right one. Yeah, you say that about every pretty gal with me. Okay, I get it. Well, if Ted isn't in trouble, we'll go somewhere else and find some. Ah, uh, that's better. Yes, sir. 